Hi, my name is Caroline, and in this video, I'll show you how to enjoy your videos, music, and podcasts from your Plex Media server without a Wi-Fi connection. First, if you're not already familiar with Plex, Plex Media Server is a way for you to enjoy your content, your music, your videos, and photos on a server that you set up yourself. Now, why would you want to or need to have offline access to your Plex Media Server content? This is actually a feature that I use often when I'm traveling. Airport Wi-Fi can be slow or not free. I don't want to pay for Wi-Fi when I'm on the plane, but I do want entertainment and once I get to my destination, the Wi-Fi can be so slow at the hotel. If you want to have access to various types of content from movies, podcasts, audiobooks, music, this is the one-stop comprehensive solution for you. Now let's get started. First of all, I'd like to give a shout out to Plex for sponsoring this video. Thank you, Plex, for sponsoring this video. The Plex features that I'll show you today require a paid Plex subscription called a Plex Pass. I'll link to it below so that you can get more details. There are tons of free Plex features that I've showcased on my channel in the past. I'll link to those videos below, such as how to set up Plex on your computer, or a MyCloud NAS device. If you're thinking about cord cutting, I'll link to a video where I set up live TV and DVR on Plex with my Plex Pass. This video assumes you've already set up Plex on your computer or your NAS device, as I've shown in my previous videos. We're gonna just jump right in on how to enjoy your content offline. Now, I'm going to cover how to sync podcasts, movies, recorded TV shows, and music in this video. This is something I like to do the day before my trip. It really depends on how much stuff you want to save to your tablet. The other limitation is also the amount of storage space you have on your tablet before you start. So you might want to delete some stuff or some apps before you start this process. Now I'm going to start a screen record on my iPad. First, let's make sure we have the Plex app on our iPad. I'm going to the App Store and I'm going to search on Plex. I already have Plex, so I'm just gonna hit open, and here is my Plex. So if you don't have it already installed, this is your step to install your Plex app. Now I'm going to go into podcasts. Podcasts are available with Plex, and I'm kind of into these kind of TED Talks right now, as many people are, and now I can choose a specific podcast I'm interested in, and then just hit the download or sync button here. I'm gonna hit home, I'm gonna hit podcasts, and my podcast is TED Talks Daily, and I can play it, and I can go through specific podcasts and then save the ones I want to save, or I can just save them all right here. And it gives some parameters. Do I want to keep you know, five episodes, delete the episodes after playing, after a day, and then I could hit download show. Uh, so I've got a lot of different options on automatically downloading my podcasts. Now, Next, let's talk about music. I'll pull up my music right here, and let's say I like this song, and I wanna save it to my iPad. I wanna save it for offline usage. I'm gonna hit the download button. I can choose the audio quality, and I can uh, hit save. And now it is what they call syncing to my iPad, so I can use this when I'm offline. Now, what I really like to listen to are audiobooks. Now, these are audiobooks that I originally purchased on CD that I've transcoded to my library. Now, I can download or just sync to my tablet, and now I've loaded on basic French. Movies. I always watch a movie on a long flight, and that's pretty self-explanatory. I'll add a movie here. And now I've saved the best for last. TV shows. I live in the US and actually I have a YouTube live TV subscription, but once I travel outside the country due to content rights, I can't watch my favorite shows even though I've recorded them on my YouTube DVR. Because you're recording to your own Plex Media server, you can access your recorded TV shows anywhere around the world. Now, the six o'clock news isn't exactly the best example, but I just wanted to show you that you can download, sync, this, any program to my iPad. And there we go. So I am downloading and syncing. 
And now I'm going to the menu button and I'm hitting downloads and sync and I'm going to hit the manage button and now I can see everything that I've synced. So I've got this movie that I have synced, I've got my podcasts and I've got my language programs, my song and it, and it is now converting my six o'clock news. All right, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into settings and I'm gonna turn off my Wi-Fi connection. So now I'm not, or actually, why don't I even, I'll turn on airplane mode. I'll turn on airplane mode, turn off my Wi-Fi connection, uh, just to show I'm not connected to the internet. I'll go back into my Plex server now and let's see, now I am no longer uh, connected to the internet. I'm gonna to go to downloads and sync. Let's see, so now I can, I can play some music All right, and that, that was offline music that I've synced. Let's see, what else do I have? I've got a movie that I can watch offline. All right, excellent, and stop that. And let's see, what else do I have? I've got the podcast. Raising your hands twice being the most exercise you got. Okay, I've got podcasts. Now, if you're following along at home and you can't download or sync, please check to make sure you have something called a Plex Pass. This is a paid feature with Plex. I hope you found this video useful. I use this all the time when I travel. Now that we've covered how to enjoy our Plex Media Server content when we're offline, I wanted to take a minute to recap what we've covered in my previous videos and share some exciting news from Plex. I've covered how to set up Plex on your laptop or desktop for Mac or Windows users. If you prefer to use a NAS, I'll link to a video where I set up a Plex Media Server on my cloud home. I've covered how to change the artwork and metadata on your content. I've covered how to cast your content on Chromecast and Google Home. I've set up Plex Media Server with live TV and DVR using an antenna and the Plex Pass. In that video, I also showed you how to stream on Roku. I'll link to all of these videos below. I'd love to hear from you on what you would like to see next on my channel with Plex. Please leave it in the comments below. And now for the latest news from Plex. Plex and Lionsgate have announced an international partnership where we will be able to watch movies for free from Lionsgate through our Plex account. We can watch these movies for free because they're ad supported. For my international viewers, yes, this is available globally. For my US viewers, you can enjoy content from Lionsgate, MGM, Warner Brothers, and more. Plex is constantly adding new content based on their partnership agreements. You can watch these ad-supported movies on any Plex app from your smartphone, tablet, Roku, Chromecast, or smart TV app. A question that I saw was, does this mean that ads will now play on the movies that I own? No way! You will only see commercials when you select Plex movies and TV. Your content is still your content and totally ad-free. Please let me know in the comments below what else I can cover on Plex and you might see it in a future video. Thanks for watching and thank you Plex for sponsoring this video. Please subscribe. Bye now.